Method 1. Password attacks. Hackers start with the easiest target, your passwords. They buy lists of 14 billion stolen credentials for about $50 on dark web marketplaces. If you're using Password123 or anything with your birth year, your accounts are already compromised. Here's their process. Credential stuffing tools automatically try stolen email password combinations across Netflix, Amazon, banks, Gmail, everywhere simultaneously. Since most people reuse passwords, breaking into one account often means accessing everything. When credential stuffing fails, they move to brute force attacks. Modern GPUs can crack an eight character password with mixed characters in minutes, but hackers rarely wait that long. They target the low hanging fruit first, then move to more sophisticated methods. But here's what's really scary. The next method doesn't require any technical skills at all. Method two, social engineering. Why crack passwords when you can just ask for them nicely? Attackers call workplaces pretending to be IT support. <clears throat> Hi, we're seeing suspicious activity on your account. We need to verify your credentials for security purposes. They research the company beforehand, no department names and sound completely legitimate. This technique succeeds 43% of the time because people want to be helpful and trust authority figures. Physical social engineering works even better. Attackers dress as delivery personnel, carry large boxes, and approach secured doors behind legitimate employees. A simple thanks as someone holds the door grants building access with zero technical skills. The USB drop technique exploits human curiosity. Attackers leave USB sticks labeled employee salaries or confidential in target parking lots. Someone always plugs them in within hours, installing malware that provides complete network access. Now, if you think those methods are sneaky, wait until you see how attackers can make you willingly install malware yourself. Method 3. Phishing and Spear Phishing. Attackers send emails that perfectly mimic legitimate sources. Bank notifications, security alerts, and corporate communications, all crafted to steal credentials or install malware. But modern attackers don't send generic messages. They conduct weeks of reconnaissance, studying targets through social media, LinkedIn profiles, and public information. The resulting spear phishing emails reference real projects, actual colleagues, and current events. A target receives an email about a quarterly report they actually handle, apparently from their manager's real email address. The attachment looks like a standard PDF, but contains sophisticated malware that records everything typed from that moment forward. These personalized attacks are nearly impossible to detect because they exploit trust relationships and insider knowledge. And once that malware is installed, here's what happens to your digital life. By the way, later in this video, I'm revealing a secret tool that can take anyone from total beginner to pro level hacker. Almost no one talks about it, but it's insanely powerful. Watch till the end, so don't miss it. Method four, malware deployment. Once attackers access a target system, they deploy various malicious software types. Keyloggers capture every password typed. Remote access Trojans provide complete computer control from anywhere in the world. Spyware quietly copies photos, emails, and private messages to external servers. No pop-ups, no slowdowns, just a normal computer, while malware silently steals everything in the background. Ransomware represents the destructive option. It encrypts every file on target systems using military-grade algorithms. Victims must pay cryptocurrency ransoms to recover their data, if they're lucky enough to receive working decryption keys. The Colonial Pipeline attack demonstrated ransomware's real-world impact. Six days of fuel distribution shut down across the eastern United States, all because someone opened a malicious email attachment. But attackers don't always need to install anything on your computer. Sometimes they just need to be in the right place at the right time. Method 5. Network Interception Attackers position themselves between targets and their internet connections to intercept and manipulate communications. Public Wi-Fi networks provide perfect opportunities for these man-in-the-middle attacks. While most websites now use HTTPS encryption, attackers have evolved their techniques. They create fake Wi-Fi hotspots with names like Starbucks Guest or Free Airport Wi-Fi. When your device connects automatically, they can see which websites you visit, track your browsing patterns, and identify what apps you're using. More sophisticated attackers deploy SSL stripping attacks, downgrading secure connections to unencrypted ones, or use fake security certificates to decrypt your traffic. They can also inject malicious code into unencrypted parts of websites or redirect you to convincing fake login pages. Even with encryption, this technique reveals metadata, who you're communicating with, when, and how often. That information alone can be incredibly valuable for building profiles and planning targeted attacks. Now here's where things get really terrifying. What if attackers could hack software that doesn't even have a security flaw yet? Method six, 
zero-day exploitation. Attackers discover security vulnerabilities in popular software before developers become aware of them. These zero-day exploits target browsers, operating systems, and common applications with flaws that have no available patches. They craft malicious websites or email attachments that exploit these unknown vulnerabilities. When targets visit compromised sites or open infected files, attacker code executes with full system privileges. Perfect security practices become irrelevant against zero-day attacks. Targets with strong passwords, current updates, and careful browsing habits remain vulnerable because they're facing attacks against unknown security holes. The Stuxnet malware used four different zero-day exploits to jump between networks and ultimately destroy Iranian nuclear centrifuges, demonstrating how valuable these unknown vulnerabilities can be. But here's what will make you never trust software updates again. Method 7. Supply Chain Compromise Why hack into the castle when you can poison the well? Instead of attacking targets directly, sophisticated attackers compromise trusted sources. They infiltrate software development environments and inject malware into legitimate application updates. Targets willingly download and install compromised software because it comes from trusted vendors with valid digital signatures. The SolarWinds hack infected 18,000 organizations this way, including Microsoft and government agencies, through a single corrupted software update. Attackers also target smaller companies with access to larger organizations. Compromising an HVAC contractor, marketing firm, or other service provider creates legitimate pathways into major corporate networks. This approach exploits trust relationships that form the foundation of modern business operations. Think digital attacks can't affect the physical world? This next method proves otherwise. Method 8. Infrastructure targeting. Advanced attackers target the systems that control critical infrastructure. Smart home devices, connected vehicles, industrial control systems, and utility networks all become potential attack vectors. They compromise smart doorbells for surveillance, hack connected thermostats to track occupancy patterns, and access vehicle computer systems for location tracking or potential sabotage. Industrial attacks target SCADA systems that control manufacturing equipment, building security, and utility operations. The 2015 Ukraine power grid attack demonstrated how cyber attacks can cause real-world infrastructure failures, leaving entire cities without electricity. These attacks blur the line between digital intrusion and physical damage. But what if attackers don't want your data or your systems? What if they want to control what you think is real? Method 9. Reality Manipulation Sophisticated attackers don't just steal data. They manipulate perception itself. They create networks of fake social media accounts to spread this information, influence opinions, and destabilize trust in institutions. Deepfake technology allows creation of convincing fake videos and audio recordings. Attackers can make targets appear to say or do things they never actually did, destroying reputations or creating blackmail material. They manipulate search results, social media feeds, and news sources to control the information targets receive. This approach hacks human psychology rather than computer systems, making detection nearly impossible. By the way, if you want to learn professional ethical hacking, this tool is a game changer for anyone looking to get started with ethical hacking. It has so many modules, but I will cover some of the cool ones. Hackify gives you step-by-step -step attack flow guides for your specific needs. It clearly shows you the attack process, what tools you would need, and what commands to use in order to meet your hacking objective. You also get hacking checklists for a bunch of systems such as web, Windows, Linux, and mobile, so you never miss an important step or have to guess where to begin. Perfect for beginners who are unsure what tools to use when and need a helping hand. You also have a command reference module that covers the most important tools and commands, along with a database of hacking techniques and script collection. One of the most useful functions for me was the Hacker GPT module. Here you can either choose one of the standard hacking scenarios or enter a custom hacking objective. It will then literally design a custom attack plan for your objective, covering the various phases, tools and steps you would need to do. Pretty cool. 